أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم everyone My name is Dr. Suzy Ismail from Cornerstone and I'm happy to be with you again on our journey towards Ramadan resilience where we explore the mental, emotional, relational, social and spiritual wellness that we experience within our lives so in today's episode, we're going to dive into the topic of understanding the different stages that we may experience in emotions when we go through the experience of loss. Now we talked about the verse in the Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah where Allah reminds us that we'll be tested. We'll be tested with something of al-khawf, of fear, something of al jua hunger, and a loss. And that loss may be a loss of wealth, a loss of lives, a loss of health, a loss of fruits. So when we experience that loss, we may respond in different ways. The first response that we may have is a response of sadness. Sadness often manifests itself when we are missing something. And when we look to the Quran and we look to the example of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we see that the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam experienced sadness. And he experienced sadness in the form of missing the revelation that Allah Azza wa Jal granted him with. There was a period of time in the life of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where the revelation had paused and he began to worry. He began to feel a sense of sadness, a heaviness, a feeling like something was missing in his life. How many of us have experienced that sadness as well? Maybe it was during the pandemic when we weren't able to go to school, when we weren't able to go to work, when we weren't able to attend functions or be with community, we may have felt that sense of sadness. It may be when we're missing something that we long for, something that we looked forward to. So we see that the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam experiences sense of sadness when the revelation had passed. And we see the beautiful response that Allah Azza wa Jal gives the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with in Surah Al-Duha. When Allah Azza wa Jal reveals Surah Al-Duha to the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and effectively to all of us, we see a remedy for sadness. We see a reminder in which Allah Azza wa Jal tells the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, reminds him and swears by the morning the fact that the sun will rise despite there being a night. And throughout the verses of Surah Al-Duha, we see that Allah Azza wa Jal is reminding the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of where he was and where he currently is. So when the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is reminded, Alam yajidka yatiman fa'awa, did we not find you as an orphan and give you refuge? Okay? There is a reminder there that you were in a bad place and now you're in a better place. And so in our own lives, when we experience that sense of sadness, when we are missing something, when we feel like we've lost something or someone, turning to Surah Al-Duha can be a way in which we uplift ourselves spiritually and in which we connect with Allah Azza wa Jal and with the Qur'an, in which we connect with the experience of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, one of the most beautiful aspects in, in Surah Al-Duha is that we see at the end of the Surah, Allah Azza wa Jal reminds the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all of the Ummah of Muhammad as well with the reminder that we should express in gratitude the blessings that Allah Azza wa Jal has given to us. Now, when we approach psychology from a Western perspective, we often talk about having a gratitude journal, writing down all of the things that are beneficial, all of the things that are beautiful, and being able to utilize that technique in what we consider to be a uh, cognitive restructuring, changing the way we think. So if we look at our lives and we think, my life is horrible, I don't have anything good in it, everything is going wrong, maybe I've you know failed my classes, maybe I've gotten into a terrible car accident, maybe my health is failing, maybe I've lost a loved one, a parent or a spouse or even a child. And we may look to this difficulty and we may say, you know what, this is terrible, everything is awful. A practice of cognitively restructuring our thought processes requires us to sit and think, well, what good do I have? 
Maybe I did fail my class, but in failing my class, it's opened the doorway and the pathway for me to explore other careers or other possible avenues. Maybe I did get into a car accident, but maybe that car accident protected me from doing something or from experiencing something that would have been worse. Maybe I did lose a loved one. Maybe I did lose a, a spouse or a child. And that sadness is heavy. And we're going to talk about when that sadness gets even heavier and extends into sorrow or grief. But still being able to have that sense of gratitude, to recognize and say, you know what, alhamdulillah, even though I have lost this, I know that Allah Azza wa Jal has that which is better for me. And whatever that may be, that which is better for me, I am going to put my trust in Allah. And in putting my trust in Allah, I'm going to recognize that the good will definitely come. And so when we experience sadness, again, first of all, we want to recognize it. We don't want to push it aside and just be like, oh, like I shouldn't be feeling sad. We don't want others to tell us, you shouldn't be feeling sad, you should be grateful. No, recognize that the sadness is there, that it's a valid emotion, that you feel sad. But then ask yourself, what can I do about this sadness? So identify the emotion, sit with the emotion, validate it, affirm that it is not definitive of who you are, and then recognize what you're going to do about it. And maybe start with that gratitude journal. Maybe start with reading Surah Al-Duha, recalling the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his experience of sadness. So I hope that you can join us in our next episode as we continue to journey in understanding the differences between sadness and sorrow and grief and depression and despair. And together, we better understand how to tackle these emotions. Jazakum Allah khair. Wassalamu alaikum.